The Ottawa Senators welcome lung cancer survivor, Elizabeth Desuro. Elizabeth Desiro is a former teacher at Father Mercury High School, and she made her triumphant return to Fort McMurray after being diagnosed with a rare form of lung cancer. Emotions ran high for this 26-year-old teacher upon her return, especially after students and teachers alike were given the news about her deadly disease. In April of 2015, I was diagnosed with non-small cell adenocarcinoma lung cancer. Um, I was diagnosed with a very advanced stage of lung cancer, so I was actually initially told that I had less than a year to live. Lots of the staff, when we found out just how sick we, that she was, I think we were all sort of prepared for the next news that we heard about Liz being um, her passing away. Um, I was also five months pregnant at the time that I was diagnosed, so I was terrified for my life, for the life of my unborn child, and just hoping for the best. Since then, things have turned around for the positive, and I've received chemotherapy. I gave birth to my beautiful baby boy, Jack, uh, two months prematurely, who's now doing really well and healthy and thriving. And I was part of that 1% that tested positive for a ROS1 genetic marker. This ROS1 genetic marker means that the disease isn't eliminated, but Desiro can take a pill every day to keep her alive, and it shrinks the cancer in her lungs. Desiro now has a new calling, and it's still teaching. Just now, it's teaching Canadians about lung cancer. I'm essentially trying to change the face of lung cancer because there's a stigma associated with the disease, which is rather unfortunate. And at the end of the day, uh, lung cancer is a huge public health problem and regardless of how that came to be we need to focus on helping to save these Canadian lives. Um, more Canadians die every year than breast, ovarian and colon cancer combined. And the more awareness that she's brought about lung cancer we're all finding out that it is something that anybody can get. These are the hallways where Mrs. Desiro once roamed. Of course she had to leave because of her lung cancer. However she's beating it and the reception couldn't be warmer here at Father Mercury High School. To just breathe and take things one step at a time. With that sort of attitude, anything is possible. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you. So for us to have an assembly that she's talking to our students about this miracle drug. Teaching here was just the perfect job. If you can ask anyone, uh, I loved my job. I woke up every day. I was excited to go to work. Uh, I really, truly loved my students. I think I had the best students in the world. My advice is just to try and stay positive and surround yourself with positive people because you know, when, some, when you're faced with an extremely difficult situation, it's easy to just see the negative and to just sort of um, get overwhelmed by that. But by staying focused and staying positive and believing in yourself, um, miracles can happen. Desiro has become an inspiration to her students, one they'll never forget. For Go, I'm Doug Roxburgh.